All right, so welcome back, guys. So before we get started, let's go ahead and inject a little bit of steroids into us. There we go. That's better. So I did some investigations and already did a lot of uh, stuff. So anyway, there I bloomed a thing over there. You know, a little four-leaf clover. However, if you go through this, this thing appears, which I will now open it. But I oh, don't okay, It's just that silver pocket watch. Very nice. I do like silver. But yeah, it seems like that's the as far as you can go. But there is another gate up here that I think that's the one we actually need to go to. And there are a bunch of these rocks that we can't get to yet. I already uh, dug up a box right there, just like there was a hundred years from now. And I gotta be able to get by this little guy right here. Shit! Gotta be able to get by this guy too. No! Fuck! Get out of here. Yeah, there's another rock right there. And then there was some stuff over here, which I think I already took care of, didn't I? Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, this is going to eventually become a mermaid spring in the future. Yeah, okay, I bloomed that. Okay, there was nothing there. There was a box right here, which, uh, yeah, smashed open. It was uh, Exorcism Slip L. And then let's go over here. I think there was a, another four-leaf clover right up here. Yeah, there was. Okay. And so that's where we need to go to the moon cave, right? So let's see. I don't think there was anything other. There was something you could bloom. Yeah, so we bloomed it. So let's go through here. Go to the moon cave. Oh, hold on. Let's see what it says. Still says Harami uh, Lake. Okay. Whatever. Let's see what's over here. Oh, here we go. I didn't even come down here. Let's quickly bloom this. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what about over here? Ah, we've got a treasure chest over here. Oh, and right. Trees. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but I remember that from in the future. I remember that from the future. That just sounds weird. Yeah, there were trees over here. So we got the moon gate, or the moon cave gate. Moon cave entrance, indeedy. It is still there. Oh, there is an origin mirror. Let's go ahead and save right there. Oh, wait, we can walk on this, right? Yeah. Let's do a real quick save. Oh, shit. Crack of thunder. I don't know how long this game is going to be, but... I, I don't think more than 60 episodes. Shouldn't be. Not with the way I've been doing it, anyway. Whoa, whoa, what's this? What's this? Oh, boy, another enemy. I'm assuming. Hey, it's that UFO thing that he was flying. You know, that looks a lot like one of those Ori Calcas. Oh, it says a guard. It says it's a guard. Uh, looks a lot like that Ori Calcos monster that, what's his face, Dart summoned. Oh, shit. Actually, can I cut through these? No. Muda! I guess still Muda. Oh, shit. Can I cut you now? Oh, shit! Four demon fangs! Let's remember that, people. Oh, plus I get a golden peach. It's a mysterious peach that instantly fills your astral pouch, which I'll never be using. Can't imagine someone actually dying in this game. 
I mean, I say that now and I'm probably going to die like crazy later, but still. Hmm. There's no barrier this time. Yeah, it's probably because of the stupid priest. That Orochi must think no one would dare come in here. We should still be careful, no matter how unprepared that snake is. I mean, if you think about it, you managed to slay Orochi a hundred years ago, but you died too, and you were at your peak back then. Legend says you appeared each year around the time of the sacrifice. Back then, you were called Shiranui and were said to be a, mo a monster. Aww. So how come you didn't just go get rid of Orochi right away? Well, I suppose you had your reasons. But I bet it made Orochi think you were a big fat chicken. Motherfucker. Uh. Nani. Huh? Yeah. Where am I? Coco ni doko? No, what in the world? Why am I wearing this? Hey, Pops, you finally came too. Now you can pretend to be the human sacrifice and slay Orochi. Then Nami will fall for you big time. What are you talking about? Oh, yes, of course. I am Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. As he says that with a puddle of urine underneath of his dress. Shit, is the freaking Yamada dragon coming for us? Brace yourself, Ami. Here it comes. Oh yeah, this is what happened last... Isn't this what happened last time? Yeah, it grabbed the sacrifice, except last time it was Kushi. I guess the Orochi's not too smart. Can't... Oh, okay, maybe it's smarter than I thought! It didn't fool anyone, apparently. Oh, there's a barrier! Oh, shit. Looks like Orochi can taste the difference between man and maiden. Well, this is it, Ami. Psych yourself up. We're about to face Orochi in peak condition. Well, I guess Orochi did get a maiden. He got the lovely Amaterasu. Hey, the bridge isn't destroyed this time. Actually, last time I think we jumped down, didn't we? Oh, this is so crazy. This is like the reason why I loved Ocarina of Time. Because of things in the future and how it happened, and then you go back to the past, and then it's all restored. Anyway, the sake barrel! You obtained eight purifications, sake. Too bad Orochi didn't drink it down when he tried to eat pops. I guess things are never that easy. Still, it ain't over till it's over. I mean, victory is still up for grabs, ain't it? How the hell would I know? Yeah, see? That's the kanji on the bottom left in the red square. That's the kanji for like eight, and then it means like um, attachments. Because it's referring to like his necks, his heads. Oh shit. What do we got? Hey, isn't that. What the f? But that's right, I forgot about that. An evil power lured me to this cave. And now that you're also here, there can be no doubt. This must be Orochi's stronghold. Hey, well, what's happening? Okay, we're locked in. What the tarnations? Ami, there's someone passed out over there. Oh, no. Oh, is that right? Wait, what the heck does that say? It says something castle gate. But I can't tell what the first kanji is. Because it's moving too fast. Oh, no. Are you freaking kidding me? I gotta beat this guy again. Oh, that one's like, the fuck? So this is the dreaded Orochi. 
Ami, this time's the real deal. Remember? You just barely managed to slay Orochi at your peak. And in the end, you died, too. Man, this Orochi looks way different. He's got, like, freaking armor and everything. Fools, how dare you stand in my way. I shall claim my 100th sacrifice and become god of the underworld. Then I shall bring eternal darkness upon all the land. Wait, hold on. If you already have Lika, why the hell did you want uh, Nami? But first you shall pay for defiling my dark sanctuary. I am stranger to these lands. Your words mean nothing to me. Now, Kutoni shall feast on your blood. That shall be more than enough to fulfill its need. Yeah, wield it like the, uh, the glaives. Like I do. Lika's on Orochi's back. I care not. For Orochi will be my ultimate offering to the sacred sword. Kutoni will devour the beast down to the very marrow in its bones. Hey! This is bad. Saki's not even ready yet. Wow, that is a lot of Saki that was able to fit in that little barrel. Sweet Mama Jama! How did I defeat this guy before? See, I can't tell. It's... See, that kanji... Oh, shit. Better pay attention. Kanji looks a lot like, um... Uh... Sin or punishment or a combination of the two. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, that's right. I gotta feed him the sake. Whenever he screams at me. Hold, hold your phone. Son of a dick. Shit. Of course. You know, I'm getting away from this darkness one. Son of a diddly. Who do I want to face that? I get drunk as a skunk, motherfucker. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Oh, right. It said he's inebriated. Now, now hold on there. Didn't I... Didn't I inebriate you? Ah, oh, son of a dick. Okay, it says he's inebriated now. Huh, I can walk on water. Those stupid snakes. Come on. Get rid of the damn water. These are creepy little snakes, you know that? They can survive out of water too. Dude, roar at me! Someone roar at me so I can inebriate you. Son of a dick. Okay, let me go over to the light one. Maybe the light one's easier. He doesn't look like he's much of a threat, does he? Oh, crap. Here we go. Gotcha. You like your sake? Yeah. 200 proof! Yeah, I think I gotta uh, get him twice. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got two of them. Maybe I have to get three of them now. Huh, he jumped in.
There we go. Yep, he's getting drunk. He's almost there, though. Can I use this lightning? Well, I guess not. Okay, whatever. Why is he the only one with, like, a freaking question mark? Oh, do I just gotta like walk up and hit him? Okay, he's drunk as a skunk! Oh, I wail on him, right? I just... Wait, what am I doing? Oh, no, 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 I gotta climb up them. Gotta climb up them and like ring this bell, right? Shit! You gotta ring it the same number of times as they have heads. Ha, ah, you tried attacking me, but you failed! Oh shit. Okay, you got slightly inebriated, and now here comes the poison faggot. Yeah, I'm gonna target these two. So before, I think we just needed two at a time. This time we need four at a time before they go down. Okay, got him. Well, maybe not. I only got two right there. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Just keep hitting buttons until something happens. There's the darkness. Get away from his bitch ass. He's the one that sends the... What? Oh. Now we smack him. Oh, that's right. I can burn them. Kill it with fire. Well, I guess it doesn't do much good to kill um kill a fire with fire, does it? Oh, can I urinate on these people? I wonder if it would give me... I mean, I am technically in battle. Holy crap. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, setting them aflame seems to be... Actually, you know what? Let's see how effective... Uh... Well, I don't know. It was a lot faster, that's for certain. Get drunk. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. We got the Rai... Um, Atama. The, um, Lightning Head. 
get drunk. Damn, that was terrible. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh yeah, he's dead. Yeah, you just gotta rinse and repeat. Too bad he doesn't have freaking seven heads. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh my gosh, you telling me that wasn't good enough? Oh. This would be a lot easier if I could use my freaking hand, like a stylus. Oh, we got the Kaze Atama. The wind head. Wait, wh why did it say Muda? That was weird. Oh shit, you can actually smack him when he's like that. Oh! Oh! Oh shit, he's going fucking haywire. Shit, I'm just, This never happened with the other heads. It's either because he's the last one or... Because I accidentally pissed him off. See, those little uh, lotus blossoms, they're like Delibird. They either give you something good, or if you don't do it in time, they give you something bad. Okay, Orochi out. Holy crap. I mean, the other time it looked different, too. Hey, get out of the way! Silence! Kutone, awaken! The time has come to glow silver. Grant me the power of the heavens. What the? What the fuck? Okay! Get raped, faggot. I don't understand. Why won't Kutone awaken? Why, Kutone? Why? Hold it right there, vile serpent. That must be the kanji for, like, sacrifice or something. That's the only thing I can imagine. Hey, that's the same place uh, Susana stood a hundred years in the future. Ami, is that who I think it is? <coughs> Clear my throat now. Tsukiyomi, behold, Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Oh yeah, wasn't Susano's like Tohen Boku? I think that was the name of his sword. And from this day forth, guardian deity of Kamiki Village, hear me, vile serpent who would do violence upon the weak. Your timing is up, or your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. He's still dressed like a woman. I can't take him seriously. Well, that, and he's also an idiot apparently. <clears throat> but he has a strong spine. Shurunu, I don't know why you are here, but Orochi is mine. How shall I slay the beast? Don't trip on your own dress. The time has come. Ow, son of a bitch. Oh, great gods of the heavens, sweep away these dark clouds. Bear witness as the beast succumbs to my trusty sword. 
Wait, I thought it was Tsukiyomi, wasn't it? Boku Nenjin. Wait, this all sounds familiar. Oh yeah, the legend of Nagi. The sword gained power over evil when the moon shined upon it. Oh, that's where Tsukiyomi came from then, I guess. At least that's what they say. Because it's got the kanji for moon in it. How? Boku Nenjin. What, what am I drawing? A moon? Yeah. There's the kanji U, which means um, evening. It's been a while. Hisashi Booty? Nani? His sword. It's... Hmm? What devilry is this? My sword it suddenly blazed gold! It must be the heavens which aid me. I shall wield this divine gift with all my might. Nagi style, blade of truth. Good! Oh shit. Will! Shit. Gotta concentrate. Give! Son of a bitch! I guess I gotta get the, like, the head. Is that the best? Oh shit, he's gotten like torn up. He's got bandages and I'll show you how a real man fights. Freaking take number 3378. It's because I suck at drawing right to left. That's the reason why. Oh shit, one left. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Now, for the ultimate in Nagi style martial arts Celestial Cleaver. Oh, thank God I don't have to do that. Oh shit, his ass is showing. Kids, don't look. It's a male ass. In more ways than one. Oh shit, Lika. She's wearing the Korok mask from Breath of the Wild. Oh, we cut it right open half. <gasps> what is this? Wait, that's, is that the Thunder Edge? Divine Instrument. Thunder Edge! Oh, my glaive imbued with Thunder Spirit utilizes lightning power. This is the thing from um, Ultimate Warfare vs. Capcom 3, if I'm not mistaken. The Thunder Edge. The moment that the legend of Nagi was fulfilled. Oh, man, that was incredible. Oh, look, it says uh, evening, west, star, lights, moon. Wow, lots of lights, actually, all over the place. It was the most beautiful sight one could imagine. Oh, and it says Ikenaki, or Nagi, Ikenaki. Uh, n n n Ikenagi. I don't know, I guess that's his full name in the Japanese. Bathed in moonlight, Nagi's sword twinkled, reflecting golden light. With Orochi's body cleaved, the beast was sealed for 100 years. The sword was dubbed Tsukiyomi and enshrined in the moon cave. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, it says the true eight. Uh, and then more stuff. Interesting. Little Lika, the Oina girl who had been tainted by Orochi's dark power, had her curse lifted and returned to normal. Look, there's our name, and then it said our name, and then Pidika, which is um, Lika's name in the Japanese. However, one man, o Oki, did not show such signs of recovery. Orochi's power had interfered with his most desperate attack. Despite the grave danger, Kutone did not exhibit the silver glow. Oki's heart burned at the thought of what Nagi's sword had wrought. Thoroughly humiliated and boiling with rage, he skulked away into the darkness, making sure that no one lay eyes upon him. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Shit. 
Man, I wish someone had made a smash level of this. This would have been awesome. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 
You mean that prayer we... Oh, thank God. <laughs> we offered to the mountain by the lake? Yeah, I can mimic the prayer of old man Kemu perfectly. He's even told me that I do it really well. I know, I know. That's why we need your help back in the village. Let's go, Ami. Back to Webkira as fast as you can. Mother of... Okay, well, because we're at the end of the episode, I'm going to do a save, and I will talk to y'all in the next one when we go back to Webkir and give back uh, the commodity that's on our back. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Holy crap, that was crazy and amazing at the same time. We got to see our future self by reliving the past. So thanks for watching. See ya.